hello my beautiful darlings welcome back to my platform thank you for watching as always um please feel free to like comment subscribe share do whatever it is your soul is guiding you to do if it is just guiding you to watch then thank you for watching let's go ahead and find out what in the name of source is going on here so you can expect to be receiving a financial payout uh, for whoever this message is in regards to or whoever resonates with this message so you have some type of financial payout or investment that's coming towards you someone could have left some type of inheritance to you because i'm seeing the ten of pentacles out here um so someone may have left you maybe a house um uh some money uh some land property there were there there are lots and lots of different possibilities right but someone may have left something to you or there could be something that's due to you so it's that you worked for something because i'm seeing the ace of pentacles out here which means you worked for something this is not something that you just you know came about uh, you may have worked really hard to build something and when it was flourishing someone was stealing money uh, the money that this whatever it is was generating so now they have to give it back to you right so this is what's going on and you may not have even been aware of what was going on for a long time but it is being brought into the light this has been a secret about what was going on behind closed doors that someone was stealing money from you someone has been doing this for a very long time and they are being exposed and they have to give back what belongs to you someone has been causing you stagnation so for example if you are like a content creator let's say you create some really amazing content really amazing videos right and someone has gone through an extensive length to have access to your phone your social media and things like that and they are stealing your content and reproducing it on another site or they are reproducing uh, it on the same site but they are having your content stagnated so that it does not grow while they are flourishing on their platform with content that you are creating and someone may have brought attention to this um that is just an example another one could be that maybe you work for a business um and you may have outperform your colleagues or something and a check was written out to you and someone stole that instead of them giving it to you maybe a group of people came together and stole that check and now they have to give it back to you there's a lot of different scenarios going on here for some of you someone passed away and left you in a will left you a house left you uh, a property land some money and people came together and decided that you didn't deserve to have that so they stole it and kept it amongst themselves they may have even used up a lot of your money and they are going to have to pay that back someone here is throwing a fit they are upset angry whatever we want to call it because they have to return to you what is yours um this is how this plan has always meant to go out per the divine so the divine has been sitting back and watching these people carry out their sneaky behavior malicious behaviors thinking that they were going to get away with what they were doing but they were never intended or meant to get away with it so they will have to pay you back what belongs to you someone is extremely upset that you are intuitively guided like you know what's going on someone is upset that all of the tricks they've been pulling behind closed doors all these fear tactics these mental manipulations and things like that it are just not working right you are still progressing in life you're still working someone wanted to stop your work but they could not you are still moving forward and they are pissed off about this as well and this is because the longer you are working the longer you're producing content the longer you're showing up to work on time and doing your work the longer you stay committed it is proving them wrong and it's making them look stupid because that is exactly what they are so it's contradictory is that people are getting together to paint some type of picture of you that just does not stick and it's not legit and then when the people they are lying to see you is that with a meaning with a meaning something is not adding up two and two is not adding up so what's going on here so as you can see we have the moon the star and the page of cups out here you're someone that is spiritual you know quite a lot but you keep it to yourself right and this is how a lot of spiritually gifted beings are we know quite a lot but we'll keep it to ourselves 
will let you figure things out for yourself. If you don't ask for our, our advice, we don't have it to offer because we know our place. We stay in our lane at the end of the day. Not everybody knows that, unfortunately. Um, and you're showing up here as the star, which means you are someone that is of the light. Someone truth. You are a blessing. You are someone nurturing. Your ancestors may have been coming to this planet since it was water. So you have a very long rap sheet with the Most High. So the Most High does not play about you. Your ancestors are always watching over you. You have a beautiful guardian angel that does not play about you as well. They are all working behind the scenes to help people see you for exactly who you are, how authentic you are, a genuine and spiritual person. They're also letting people know that you don't mean them any harm, right? So someone could have lied and said that you were after them, you did this to them, you did B to them, you did Z to them, but you didn't do anything to them. So all of this is being cleared up while you are living in peace, um, not knowing that all of this is going on behind the scenes. People are experiencing a lot of endings. There's a couple in here that will be getting a divorce because they partook in something that just should not have happened. They stole a house and they are being put out of this house because it does not belong to them. Okay, they stole a house and they've been pretending like they they were the true owners of this house. Someone may have gotten married because of money. Someone is stuck in some type of union they want to get out of, right? Uh, someone is stuck in a union. This is a union that is toxic. This is a union that is unfulfilling. They want to get out of it because it's just not what it th what they thought it was going to be and this could be that because someone got married for money and this is usually how it goes when you get married for money not for genuine reasons but this couple is experiencing an ending they may have even accepted some type of financial payout to block some someone or you from receiving your abundance and now they are experiencing an ending themselves someone may reach out to you trying to reunite some type of friendship you're not interested you're not interested because this person is part of this scheme, okay? So if someone reaches out to you from your past that you haven't been talking to in a while, block them, delete them from your contact, move on, okay? There is a queen of swords in here that is a liar, which is contradictory to who and what a queen of cups is. And queen of, queen of swords, I'm sorry. A queen of swords in here that is a liar and is contradictory to the actual characteristics of what a queen of swords is. Queen of Swords are people that are intellectual, very honest and straightforward. They don't beat around this bush, beat around the bush. But she, but as you can see, we have the Ace of Swords here in the reversal position, which means that this is a liar. She's been she's been telling a lot of lies to create some type of mental conflict. She wants people to feel mentally conflicted on what to do, trying to cause some type of illusion about you, Queen of Cups. But people already know the truth. But this woman is absolutely determined to keep lying so that people can see you in a negative light, but it's just not sticking. This could be the person that's going through a divorce or paints herself out to be genuine, kind, and things like that. Someone from your past misses you. They are thinking about you. They are living in some type of regret about an action they took. For some of you, this person from your past could have collaborated with this group of people, this queen of swords as well, to cause you some type of ending or to block you from receiving what belongs to you this person is living in regret even though they're living in regret it has nothing to do what do with what they did to you it has more so to do with the fact that this person is experiencing some type of ending if they do not get in contact with you they're going to jail as we have the eight of swords out here someone has prison time due to them and they will be going to prison so if an ex comes back to you or someone from your past comes back to you trying to reunite some type of a uh, 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 delusional connection with you block them delete them from your contact and move on okay this person is coming up with some type of plan to come into your life to act like they have healed they've chosen you you are their number one choice but remember how things ended with this person in the past they may have not chosen you when they had an option to so someone could have chosen someone they thought was more abundant than you, but they had to learn the hard way that that person was not abundant. So now they feel trapped in this relationship. They feel, you know, just confined. They're not happy. They're losing quite a lot of money due to actions they took against you. It's like someone is going through a lot of karma. They and the person they partner 
up with to go up against you. They are uh, they are uh, going through a lot of karma right now. And this person thinks that them coming to you and causing some type of illusion, pretending to be something they're not, pretending to care about you is going to balance things out. And they're doing all of this just so they can steal from you. Someone wants to be attached to this abundance that they have, that you have coming in. And this person is into some type of witchery. I keep getting that. This is someone that knows a lot about this abundance that is yours. It's like a group of people are aware of what belongs to you, but they've all been working behind the scenes to block this abundance from making its way to you. And this person from the past now wants to come in and cause an illusion to make it look that you are the woman of their dreams, the man of their dreams. They want to work things out with you. They are are now family focused they're genuine they want to bring you flowers blah 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 and this is all to steal from you someone just wants to reconnect with you so they can break you again or break your heart again or steal from you again this could be someone that stole from you before and you were not aware but now you are finding out this person is going through a lot of laws they're having a lot of emotional laws financial laws and this is because they're rushed in to give some type of childish love offer to maybe a JC Bell energy, uh, someone that is not committal. So we see the Knight of Wands out here. Someone give an offer to a Knight of Wands energy. <clears throat> <coughs> so this is what I'm seeing. <laughs> it's like this person betray you to get in a relationship with someone they thought was better than you, but this person is their match. Because this person behaves just like that masculine or that feminine that betray you. This person falls in love quickly, but they lose passion just as quickly. So this is someone non-committal. And this person from your past is going through this experience. And they are thinking about how you were and things like that. But this person is really void of human emotions. This is someone that cares about finances. Um, if they will group up with a lot of strangers or people they don't even know to go up against you, that should say a lot to you and should sum up their character at the end of the day. Someone was advised to do things a little different, see things from a higher perspective. They did some type of self-sacrifice. They murdered themselves and now they are in regret because they know what role lies ahead of them and it is prison. Someone committed a crime. Someone may have like maybe shredded a document that was meant for you when you two were together. Someone may have burned a document, torn it up, threw it away. There is a whole lot going on in, going on in here. There's something about a house. Um, the other day when I was sitting, I had a vision of someone starting a fire in a house. So there could be a house that belongs to some of you and somebody does not want you having a hold of that. And in order to prevent you from having it, they are thinking about committing some type of arsenic crime and it's just going to go right back on them. It's going to put them in prison faster than later, right? So they are just ensuring their own destiny by doing that. But there's a whole lot going on in here. The fact that this couple is in here uh, um, is just kind of eerie for me because this is like two people deciding to do something they know that sh they know that they should not be partaking in and they are experiencing some type of ending that is very catastrophic they're losing a home this could, this could be the people that stole the home from you and they are now being put out of it so that you can take charge of their house someone may want to come towards you and beg you to let you so you can let them keep a house or to beg you not to uh, uh file any charges against them to uh beg you to not say anything anymore don't pay them any mind you need to file charges if you can keep speaking your truth stand up for yourself you're meant to do just that you are not mentally conflicted you're not confused about anything you want what's yours you want what belongs to you because you didn't take anything from anyone else these people stole from you and they need to return to you what belongs to you okay so for a long time this was kept a secret but it's been revealed this secret is no longer a secret people see that you are the queen of cups Someone did something or a group of people did something to you that caused you a loss. There is a queen of cups in here as well. There is experiencing experiencing some type of emotional distress or financial loss because this is someone that's pretentious. This is someone that was committed to stealing what did not belong to them. They felt entitled to it and it's been stripped away from them. So 
you yourself may have experienced some type of setback so you're sitting, you're showing up here as independent self-reliant and things like that um uh, you take very good care of yourself you may not have all of your finances in place but people know that you take care of yourself um you're someone very respectful you're being seen um uh, as someone with high honor uh, someone that's very beautiful, uh, have a beautiful energy about yourself. You're someone genuine, kind. You don't really have secrets. What people see is what they get. Someone may have caused you a loss by stealing this home from you. So while you are facing difficulties, these people are living in your home, living their best lives and just going on about your day, not caring what it is you're going through or your children, your family, your husband, your wife, um, whatever they are going through. These people didn't care, and that's why you shouldn't care either when they come to you begging for forgiveness or for you to not file charges. Absolutely do file charges. Do not compromise with these people. You need to ask for what's yours, okay? So yeah, someone from your past want to come, wants to come in and give you some type of immature offer. Honey, you don't have time for any love offer from a Knight of Cups because that is not promising. This, these are people... They fall in love one meaning they like you. The next meaning they can't stand you. The next meaning they like you, honey. We don't have time for clowny, clownery stuff, foolish, foolishery, foolishness, whatever we want to call it. We don't have time for it. Keep that confusion to yourself. Take it to the next karmic and give it to them. They will accept it. We star seeds, we don't have time to be settling for confusion or confused people that don't know what they want in life. Okay? So, yes. This is the energy you can expect to be living in coming up. Um, you're going to be living an abundant life, right? This may be a lifestyle that you are not accustomed to, accustomed to, so it's going to be a little bit overbearing for you. So you could be someone that's very humble like myself. We don't like extravagant things and things like that, but the universe believes that this is what you deserve. So this is what they are giving you. You manifested something that's far beyond your wildest dreams. When it comes to your way of living and your connections and things like that, business, career, you just do not realize it. And it's going to shock you once it makes its way to you so we, regardless of what you are going through right now stay strong stay down to earth stay grounded go outside get some fresh air stay prayed up stay positive stay giving gratitude to the universe before you receive what is yours um because this is your destiny right and this is uh letting you know that you have a message coming in an inspiring message Someone is being inspired to do the right thing because they see and have been shown the truth about you. So they are going to be reaching out. They may reach out through email, through, through text, through call, through some type of way. But with a lot of what's going on, I wouldn't be surprised if people are blocking communications behind the scenes, interfering with your mail, uh, interfering with your phone calls, text messages, and things like that. And they think that this is going to block this abundance from coming towards you, but it's not going to um, because this is something that's destined. The most high is using this time to expose these people, make sure that who needs to be locked up is locked up. Who needs to be unemployed is unemployed. Who needs to no longer be here is no longer here because they need to go back to the spirit realm and be re-educated on how to be a proper human. Okay, um, you are the queen of swords. You have your swords out against these people. You don't have time to play with them. Um, so you're going to keep speaking your truth. You're standing up for what's right. You are cutthroat with what you say. People don't like it. That's their business. That is not your problem to worry about. Um, you are someone that's just waiting for your day to come, your finance to make it to you, your abundance to make it to you. Um, someone may be wanting to connect with you and they are summing up the courage to go for it, to come towards you as well. Uh, so that's that. Uh, just be mindful. Someone that is coming towards you is not someone that is reliable when it comes to partnerships or loyalty. This is not someone loyal. This is someone that is hot temper, someone that is impulsive. So just be mindful not to be too much in a hurry to fall in love or start a relationship with anyone. Yeah, someone wanted, wanted you stuck. Someone wanted you to basically be like a slave. You keep working and working and working, but you never see any reward for your work. Um, and that is quite a selfish place to be. But this is what people that are on heel 
people that are selfish, people that are broken, will do to other people because they feel entitled to what does not belong to them. These are people that walk around thinking that they're better than other people, but they really have nothing to bring to the table um, at the end of the day. So you've been experiencing financial loss and things like that. And someone is upset that you were telling the truth, um, but they say, they're telling people that you are a liar. That's why this is a, a, a source is in the uh, reverse. They're telling people you are a liar. They're trying to say that you're not someone so twin for those of you that have a connection that's being interfered with. Someone is trying to say that you are not the best option for a job position or some type of business opportunity as well. But someone, whoever they are talking to is seeing the truth about the situation. So they know this person is a liar. So they're not really paying them any mind. They're disregarding them because they see them for exactly who they are. And this person is choosing the right to do the right thing. They're going to right every wrong. These people are throwing a fit, especially this queen of swords and this queen of cups. They are throwing a fit. They are in a lot of remorse, not because they care about what they did to you, but because of what they're going to be losing when balance is brought into this situation. There's a couple in here that wanted to cause you confusion. There may be like a woman that wanted to come back in your life from this couple that wanted to cause you confusion, make it seem that you two were friends and things like that. These people receive some money to block your forward movement. Okay, someone here is going to prison. Someone is going to prison. There's a feminine energy that could be going to prison. There's a masculine energy that's going to prison as well because they collaborated together to block this abundance, this inheritance from making its way to you because they basically stole from you. Have a blessed day.